fighting games have always been a niche genre, likely because they're more difficult than most multiplayer games. So to get more people interested in playing, many developers have added simple inputs to their games, hoping this will get more casual players to buy their games and also keep playing them. Mortal Kombat didn't do that though. Instead, they got celebrities to sell their games. That's right, while Street Fighter VI got simple inputs and modern controls, us Mortal Kombat players got Ronda Rousey, baby! As you might imagine, this did not have the intended effect that developers were hoping for. And yet they kept doing it, over four more times in fact. Now that being said, sometimes celebrity guests have worked for Mortal Kombat in a positive way. So of course I'm going to cover those examples too, but for now let's start from the beginning. Ronda Rousey. I can still remember when this all started as a rumor and nobody thought it was true. There was no way that Netherrealm would take a famous fan beloved character like Sonya Blade who's been around since the very first game and change her face to look just like Ronda Rousey and make her voice Ronda Rousey. But believe it or not, the developers did exactly that. And to take a step back for a second and be fair here, play devil's advocate for a second, I kind of understand what Netherrealm was thinking. Ronda Rousey is a professional fighter, and if you follow pro fighting and then learn that she's in a video game, especially a fighting game, you very likely are going to buy that game, whereas before, maybe you would never have bought Mortal Kombat 11. And even if you were already a Mortal Kombat fan and already intended to buy Mortal Kombat 11, you likely also follow pro fighting, so Ronda Rousey was likely already on your radar. So once again, I kind of understand what the developers were thinking, but here's the issue. It's not optional. You can't turn her voice off. In fact, even in story mode, Ronda Rousey is still voice acting for Sonya Blade, which was obviously a terrible idea for two major reasons. Number one, Ronda Rousey is not a professional voice actor. She does not have any voice actor training, so of course she's going to crash and burn despite her best efforts. Even if she does her absolute best to voice the character, it's never going to sound as good as a professional voice actress. But then on top of that, she has to play two different versions of the same character and also portray her death in the game. That's right, Mortal Kombat 11, kind of a big deal for Sonya Blade. She dies, but guess what? The scene falls flat because poor Ronda Rousey just wasn't ready for this role. You can't just hire somebody who's never voice acted before and say, hey, you're going to portray the death of this fan favorite character who's been around for 30 straight years? Go. Oh, and then after that, you have to portray the same character, but she's 20 years younger with a different outlook, different motivation? Go. Listen, I'm no voice actor, but even I can understand how difficult it would be to portray two versions of the same character. Sonya Blade is going to act very differently 20 years ago than the modern version of her character. So not only is Ronda Rousey having to voice act for the first time, but she's also voice acting a legacy fan favorite character, and she must voice act two versions of that character. Yeah, this was never going to work. But guess what? The next person hired to voice act in Mortal Kombat 1 was an even worse decision. Dimitri Vegas as Sub-Zero. Wait, you don't know who Dimitri Vegas is? How do you not know who Dimitri Vegas is? The famous Dimitri Vegas? You haven't heard of him? No, I'm just kidding. That's okay. I actually had no idea who Dimitri Vegas was either and why he was voice acting my favorite character. Now, thankfully, this time it was completely optional. You did not have to hear his voice in the game as the character by default. And also, he doesn't voice story mode at all. Even if you do switch Sub-Zero's voice to Dimitri Vegas, his voice will not change in story mode, so thank goodness for that. All of which is good news, but here's the thing. Dimitri Vegas is 10 times worse at voice acting than Ronda Rousey, and I'm not exaggerating. It's like looking in a mirror. I see only my cracked reflection. Then I'll blind you to end your pain. The Ling Kuei punish imposters. I am the true Grandmaster. Only if you survive. You are one of Sector's clones. I am the original Kuai Liang. Combat will resolve this. Or in other words, the developers hired somebody who was bad at voice acting and also not very popular. The idea that money was spent on this blows my mind. Like, why not just light the money on fire at that point? At least then you would not be upsetting the players who paid money for your game. But all right, here comes the good news. Sometimes celebrity voices did get fans excited and made the character better, like with Rambo and Spawn. Sylvester Stallone voicing Rambo is perfect because it's literally 
his character. So even if his voice acting isn't the best all the time, who cares? He's literally Rambo. And as for Spawn, Keith David was already a professional voice actor for decades and also already had experience voicing Spawn. In fact, he's the voice of the character. So it goes without saying that he's a perfect choice for Spawn. And the same goes for Robocop, who was voiced by Peter Weller, the actor who played him in the first two movies. Even though I don't think Peter Weller had any voice acting experience, it doesn't really matter because Robocop is, well, a robot. So even if your voice acting is a bit off and the character comes off as flat, who cares? He's a robot. He's not meant to sound like an ideal human voice actor, right? So it's a pretty easy role to nail. However, for a quick fun fact, even though Terminator is also in Mortal Kombat 1, he's actually not voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Instead, he was voiced by someone else who did their best attempt at an Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation, and I think they did okay. Don't get me wrong, you can definitely tell that it's not the real Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's close enough. But then we have Kerry Tagawa, who did such a fantastic job that it almost makes all the previous terrible celebrity voice acting worth it. Maybe it's okay that we had to suffer through Ronda Rousey and Dimitri Vegas because we got to hear Kerry Tagawa voice Shang Tsung 20 years later. For anyone not aware, Kerry Tagawa is old, about 73 years old at this point, but when he was called upon by NetherRealm Studios to reprise his role of Shang Tsung, he freaking nailed it, man. He slid right into that role perfectly, and I don't think anyone else will ever top his performance as Shang Tsung. And his success inspired NetherRealm to do an entire batch of celebrity costumes in Mortal Kombat 11. So I guess the lesson to be learned here is, if you want to hire a celebrity to voice one of your characters, then just make sure they've already voiced that character in the past. But now, finally, it's time for the worst example of them all, and all of you watching already know who I'm talking about because everybody online memed on her for months, Megan Fox. Real quick, I want to go on record that I have nothing against Megan Fox as a person. I'm not trying to bash on her in this video. Even though it doesn't sound like she's trying that hard in the recording booth, I can't know for certain. Maybe voice acting just isn't her thing. Maybe she truly did try her best, which is why I only have beef with the people who hired her, because they made the exact same mistake as before with Mortal Kombat 11, but somehow worse. Because Megan Fox has nothing to do with Mortal Kombat. And I doubt any die-hard Megan Fox fans are going to buy the game just because she's in it. Or in other words, her guest appearance did not lead to any more sales of the game. Once again, you're just burning money. Why are you doing that? And also, why is she dressed like this in the trailer? Who is responsible for this? There should never be this much pink in a Mortal Kombat trailer. If you want to use Megan Fox as a face model, that's perfectly fine. Megan Fox is hot and honestly fits the vampire look really well. There's a reason why she was hired for Jennifer's body. But why the voice? Why, once again, did you hire a non-professional voice actor to voice a fan favorite character like Natara who's been gone for like 20 years? At the very least, you could have made her voice optional, but no, you didn't do that. You repeated Mortal Kombat 11. Not only is Megan Fox the default voice for Natara, but she also voices her in story mode. Yikes. Once again, my mind is blown. You spend all that time and money crafting a pretty good story mode just to toss this in there. Serena's right. Because of Quan Chi's magic, my realm's people are no longer poisoned by sunlight. We've finally escaped the shadows. <laughs> that blade's enchanted. It was forged to destroy evil. It's slain many of your vampire kind. We can't help what we are. That we feed on blood doesn't make us evil. It's like putting pineapple on pizza, honestly. Some people like it, I'm sure, but not most people, so don't force it on us. Megan Fox's voice should have been optional, at most in Mortal Kombat 1. Very similar to Jean-Claude Van Damme, the savior! Because not only is Jean-Claude Van Damme completely optional and not the default voice for Johnny Cage in story mode, but on top of that, believe it or not, Jean-Claude Van Damme is the reason we have Mortal Kombat in the first place. That's right, a real quick history lesson. Originally, Mortal Kombat was going to be Jean-Claude Van Damme the game, but that fell through. So instead, Ed Boon and John Tobias made Mortal Kombat, but the Jean-Claude Van Damme character is still there. They just changed his name to Johnny Cage. That's why Johnny Cage's outfit looks identical to Jean-Claude Van Damme's outfit in Bloodsport, because that's what it was originally going to be. And that's also why Johnny Cage is a Hollywood actor, because he's inspired by Jean-Claude Van Damme, who is a Hollywood action movie star. Which once again is why Jean-Claude Van Damme is the perfect example of 
of a celebrity guest in a Mortal Kombat game. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. And I also hope that Netherrealm never does this again, but leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video, it helps my channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.